welcome to The Print. I'm Akshaya Nath, Senior Assistant Editor. And today I'm going to bring to you my story on who is Tamil Nadu Minister Sendhil Balaji and what is the ED case against him. At around 2.15 a.m. on June 14, 47-year-old Tamil Nadu Electricity Prohibition and Excise Minister V. Sendhil Balaji was carried into the Tamil Nadu Government Multi-Speciality Hospital at Oman Road Government Estate. On Tuesday, the Enforcement Directorate had conducted raids in the properties of Sendhil Balaji's residence in Chennai and Karur and also at his office at the Tamil Nadu State Secretariat. Close to 18 hours after the searches, at around 1.30 a.m. on June 14, according to official sources, Sendhil was informed about his arrest. In a medical bulletin that has been released by the hospital, it has been informed that a coronary angiogram was done on Sendhil and it has revealed that the minister had triple vessel disease for which a bypass surgery has been recommended. CM MK Stalin, who had met the minister in the ICU, had later in a statement said, Despite cooperation, Sendhil Balaji was pressured triggering chest pain. Is this inhumanitarian act required? Sendhil Balaji will face the case legally. DMK is not scared of BJP's intimidation tactics. People are watching the clampdown that has been taking place and will teach the BJP a lesson in 2024 polls. With the ED raids and arrest, Sendhil has become the latest poster boy of opposition with opposition leaders from across the country making statements in his favour. The minister, who has changed his political affiliations three times in his 28-year-long political career, has thus been at the receiving end of criticism from the DMK, AIADMK as well as the BJP at some point or the other. His political colleagues and analysts, however, describe Sendhil as any party organization's yes man who prefers to stay away from antagonizing his fellow political leaders. Even so, Sendhil has had his fair share of controversies being ousted by the AIADMK, getting embroiled in a sand mining controversy in the state, the alleged cash for jobs case, and most recently being among the fiercest critics of BJP Tamil Nadu chief K. Annamalai. In less than five years of joining the DMK, Sendhil Balaji has become an indispensable part of the DMK, said analysts, pointing at the beeline of Sendhil's cabinet colleagues who reached the hospital from the wee hours of Wednesday. So who is Sendhil Balaji? Sendhil Balaji, known to be a strong man from Karur, comes from an agricultural family in Rameshwarapati in Karur district. At an age of 20, Sendhil entered into active politics in 1995 by joining the Marmalarchi Dravid Munitrakargam or the MDMK and very soon after he joined the DMK and began his electoral journey as an elected ward councillor in 1996. Sendhil hailing from the Gaunda community, uh, which is a dominant group in the Konga belt of which Karur is a part of. Sendhil has been able to win the hearts of the voters over the years uh, and has been a person who is set to mingle closely with the party cadres on ground. Sendhil has been uh, able to build his own loyalists uh, in the Konga region, including Karur and Arvakurchi, from where he contested from, from the last four consecutive elections and has also been successful there. Uh, his first election was in 2006. Four years later, in 2000, Sendhil joined the AIADMK and in the next six years, he slowly grew up the ranks and uh, the party had offered him a first-time ticket in 2006 from the Karur State Assembly polls. In the following elections in 2011, Sendhil Balaji, who won again from Karur, was made the Transport Minister in AIADMK Chief and the then CM J. Jailalitha's cabinet. After the demise of Jailalitha in the factional war that broke out between Edapadi K. Palni Swami, EPS, and Jailalitha's confidant VK Sashikala, Sendhil supported Sashikala's nephew TTV Dinakaran. Sendhil is a dedicated ground level worker who works extremely hard in the development of the party, said Tanga Tamil Chelvan a former MLA and a close friend of Sendhil Balaji. Tanga Tamil Chelvan and Sendhil Balaji had walked the path to the DMK together and the two were among the 18 MLAs who were disqualified for rebelling against EPS in 2017. They had together helped TGV Dinakaran form the Amma Makkal Munetra Karagam. While Sendhil joined the DMK in 2018, Tanga Tamil Chalvan followed course and joined the DMK in 2019. 
As a close associate of Sendhil, Tangat Tamil Chalvan said, every senior member of a party likes him, be it Amma Jailalata or Talapati M.K. Stalin. They've always only praised uh, Sendhil Balaji, said Tangat Tamil Chalvan. Sendhil, analyst speaking to the print, said, was very efficient. He's very loyal to his master and does a highly dedicated job, said political analyst Priyan Srinivasan speaking to the print. When Sendhil joined the party, the DMK had made him the district in charge for Karur and in the 2021 state assembly polls, Sendhil proved his might by emerging victorious from the constituency. It was a huge comeback for the DMK in Karur, which had failed to win the seat for close to 25 years after its last victory in 1996. Sendhil, with one lakh plus margin, had comfortably win, uh, won the seat, defeating MR Vijay Bhaskar. DMK's organizational secretary, R.S. Bharati, speaking to the print, said that the Coimbatore Kung Belt region, which was considered as a fortress of the AIA DMK and BJP, was slowly becoming a stronghold of the DMK with the work done by Sendhil. The reason the DMK improved well in the local body in Coimbatore, Congo region, this time is also because of Sendhil, added Priyan. Bharati added that Sendhil was appointed as a district secretary because of the confidence that the party has on him. It is a very important position in the DMK and it is considered as a position higher than that of a cabinet minister, added Bardi. The DMK cited two reasons as a reason for the vendetta politics against Sendhil Balaji. The first being the increasing influence of the DMK in Coimbatore and the Congo Belt. Uh, and this was seen as a threat by the AIA DMK and the BJP. And that is one of the reasons why they're going against Sendhil Balaji, who holds a great important power in this region. Members in the DMK also added that Sendhil, who is also the electricity minister, who was being targeted for the power failure that took place on the day Amit Shah had visited the city of Chennai. What is the cash for job scam? The cash for job scam is with regard to allegations of Sendhil and his alleged close aides taking bribes from job aspirants for vacancies in the state transport department between 2014 and 2015. While few of them were allotted jobs immediately, few others were put in the pending list and they were assured of jobs after the 2016 state assembly polls. AIADMK, though returned to power in 2016, Sendhil was ousted from the party after the sudden demise of J. Jailalitha and subsequent split within the party. In 2018, four people who had been uh, given bribes for the job filed a complaint against Balaji and few others. An FIR was registered and in 2019, the case was filed before a special court uh, for members of parliament and members of legislative assembly. Uh, and it was seen that the ED had also taken cognizance of the issue and filed four cases naming Balaji as an accused. In 2019, a summon was also issued against Sendhil by the ED. In 2021, after being elected MLA from DMK seat, Sendhil had approached the Madras High Court requesting the FIRs against him be quashed, claiming he had reached a settlement with 13 of the job aspirants. Based on the request, the special court had quashed the proceedings and uh, Sendhil had also approached the Madras High Court challenging the summons which was issued against him uh, and had requested for a stay order uh, on the summons issued by the ED and that again was granted. Things started going downhill for Sendhil after the May 16th Supreme Court order setting aside the Madras High Court order from last year. The Supreme Court also allowed the ED to continue its investigation against Balaji under provisions of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act PMLA. On 26th May, coordinated searches were conducted by the Income Tax Department in over 40 properties linked to Sendhil, including the properties of his brother Ashok, as well as those owned by other close relatives and some TNEB contractors. Analysts in the state suspected that the sudden raids by the ED may also be a follow-up to the IT raids and added that this could be a beginning of a larger crackdown in the state. Sindhil Balaji does not antagonize anybody and wants to keep everyone happy, said political analyst Suman Siraman. 
But in the last one year, the war of words between Sendhil Balaji and BJP state chief K. Anamalai has grabbed the limelight. The reason for Anamalai targeting Sendhil is the IPS officer's defeat in the Arvakurchi Assembly constituency in the 2021 polls, said Tangatamal Chelvan. Anamalai on numerous occasions had taken jibes at Sendhil Balaji and has often referred to him as Saraya Amateur, meaning a liquor minister. After the spurious liquor death in the state in May, Anamalai had submitted a memorandum to the governor demanding the removal of Sendhil Balaji from the cabinet and had stated that in Tamil Nadu since May 2021, there has been a spike in the increase of drug and alcohol abuse related cases. Sendhil Balaji too was the reason behind Anamalai's watch controversy in the state. The AIADMK too has made several allegations against Sendhil Balaji and have demanded his resignation over the ED raids and arrest now. EPS addressing the media on Wednesday said, based on evidences, Sendhil Balaji is raided by IT and ED. Sendhil Balaji is enacting a drama and he should resign on moral grounds. Another AIADMK senior leader, Kovai Satyan, said that around 4,000 unlicensed bars have been operational in the state of Tamil Nadu and that many of the alcohol sold are unaccounted for and the money that comes from it has been given to the lowest employee, to the highest officials and to even politicians high up in the rank up to MK Stalin. These are the allegations made by AIADMK spokesperson Kovai Satyan. He also added that uh, there has been a lot of favoritism that has been done in the allotment of contracts in the EB as well, that is the Electricity Board Department as well. And it is seen that the AIADMK and the BJP have been quoting Chief Minister MK Stalin's statement from previous years and have been countering the DMK. Stalin had called the ED raids uh, as BJP's vendetta politics in a direct assault on the federal principles. He, they, he said that it's a backdoor tactics of the BJP against his political opponents and had even said that this was a calm before the storm for 2024 that will sweep BJP away. Countering him, EPS and Anamalai quoted Stalin's statement with reference to the income tax raids in 2016 at the State Secretariat in the office of the then Chief Secretary P. Ram Mohan Rao. Stalin had in 2016 said income tax department functioned under independent law and seemed to have acted on credible evidence against Rao. BJP and ADMK using the same statement said the ED functioned under an independent law and seemed to have acted on credible evidence against Senville. Anna Malay on social media had also posted a 2016 video of Stalin where he was seen criticizing Sendhil Balaji. In the video, Stalin can be seen saying, there's a minister from Karur district, Sendhil Balaji. The cabinet got reshuffled 15 times, but Sendhil Balaji remained in the cabinet. He was a junior minister, but he did not lose ministry while senior ministers were reshuffled. Even when Jailalitha was in jail, his name was considered for the CM post. Sendhil Balaji and his brother are controlling the district by looting. This were the allegations made by MK Stalin. Even as the political fight continues in the state, the Chennai Principal District Court has demanded Sendhil Balaji till June 28 to judicial custody. The DMK and its ally parties have announced for protests against the BJP in Coimbatore on June 16th. That's all I have for you on this episode of State Draft. Do tune in to The Print for more such interesting stories. I'm Akshya Nath, Senior Assistant Editor with The Print.